we're going to kick off today's Eve of Match briefing with the England team ahead of tomorrow's semi-final against New Zealand uh, with Neil Hatley, the assistant coach, and uh, Courtney Laws and Elliot Daly will be joining shortly at the top table. So if we could have a raised hand for the first question for the microphone here in the front row. Thank you. Neil, can you just talk a bit about how good the New Zealand f tight five are and what a big test it's going to be? Um, yeah, look, they're a, they're a very good unit. You know, the, the last two or three years is evidence of that. I think they've got good familiarity. They, they all, you know, a lot of them play for the Crusaders. So, yeah, it's a good pack. Lots of experience in there. Um, so, yeah, you know, we're, we're really looking forward to the challenge. Thank you. Next question. Yep, just behind you. Have you come through that little session in the rain with everyone still fit and the same 23 set to go tomorrow? Yep, same 23. Um, everybody's trained, everyone's warmed up, trained well, um, and 23 as announced. Yep. At the back in the middle, thank you. Uh, morning, Neil. Were you, were you late today? And if you were, are you going to have to look at um, the leaving time tomorrow? Hi, Nick. How are you? You are? Yeah, good, thank you. Good. Um, no, a little bit. I think the rain probably paid a little bit of a factor, so 10 minutes longer than, than what we expected. Um, but, yeah, we, we'll have a look at that. Uh, you know, the logistics have been brilliant the whole tournament, so I think, like, the, not due to rain tomorrow. Um, so, yeah, I'm pretty sure we get that 10 minutes back. Can I just ask you as well, talked a lot about the line-out over the last couple of days. In terms of the scrum, what Courtney Laws ahead of George Cruz in the second row does to that in terms of the balance of the scrum from your point of view? Um, oh, look, I, I think there's more to it than just the scrum. Um, you know, we're, we're in the, the envial position that we've got four world-class second rows, um, and it's just to get the best minutes from that position. Um, so, you know, they're different attributes, both of them. And uh, we feel that this is the way to go to make sure we get the best 80 minutes from that position. Neil, was there anything you weren't able to achieve in that session because of the conditions? Just stay dry. Um, yeah, that was about it. No, we did everything. Line out, restart, set piece. We've, we've got everything done. You know, a lot of us are used to playing in those conditions uh, where we come from. So, no, everything done. Yeah, just here in front, thanks. Just staying on those conditions, you said you're very familiar with them. Is that something you're actually looking forward to, hoping that it does stay a bit greasy, a bit wet underfoot in 24 hours' time? Uh, no, I think that we've prepared a plan both. Um, you know, that's what we've done. We, even when we're warm weather training, out, out in Treviso and Miyazaki, we, you know, we used wet balls so to make sure that if, if it is, you know, those conditions happen, then we're, you know, we're prepared. So, no, I don't think the, the conditions either way, um, you know, are going to be an issue. We'll just pause there to uh, bring the players in who have just arrived. Hi. Just take a seat here, mate. Would you like some water? No, I'll be thanks. Okay, so Elliot Daly has joined us, and Courtney Laws will be here shortly. So any, uh, any questions for either of the top table participants? Here on the right. Thanks. Elliot, how tricky were those conditions you just uh, trained in? Yeah, pretty wet. Um, not windy, though, so uh, not too bad. Um, probably haven't trained in that kind of rain for a while, but, yeah, it was quite fun, to be fair. But um, I think the weather's meant to be OK for tomorrow, so, um, yeah, it was tricky, but, yeah, it was good. Hello, Elliot. Um, how do you assess the challenge of the New Zealand back three you'll be up, you'll be facing on tomorrow? I think uh, you look around the world at the moment. Um, some of the best teams in the world have got very exciting back three. So obviously um, they've got a uh, obviously Bowden at the back is pretty experienced. Um, George Bridges obviously come in and, and done really well for him and Severis as well. So um, yeah, looking forward to the challenge. Um, obviously haven't played against uh, two of them before, so it'll be interesting. Front row here. Just keep your hand up. Yeah, thanks. There we go. Uh, gents, uh, you can't change the weather. You can't do anything about that. But it is your moment to change history. What are your thoughts on that? 
Uh, we're excited. Um, excited for the challenge. Um, I don't. None of us have played in a uh, World Cup semi-final before, so you know it's, it's going to be a great game. Um, I think we're just we're just very very excited to get out of there. And Ella, give us a sense of what the players are sort of thinking, feeling now, and the coach getting into the stadium today. Yeah, just excited. Obviously, we haven't played here before, so it was key for us to come here today just to see what it was like. Um, yeah, the ex exciting around camp, but um, it will probably build um, into the game tomorrow um, from now, really. One row further back. ローズ選手に伺いたいんですけども、あのオールブラックスロックバンにスコットバレット選手入れてきていて、それについてどう思うかと、それに相手の意図どういうところを感じているかどんな影響があるか教えてください。Did you hear anything? Yeah. I didn't get that. What did you say? Selection squad, Derek. What does that mean for their lineup and for us? All right. Yeah, um, they've gone with a pretty big pack, um, which is, um, you know, fine, fine with us. Uh, we, we're used to that. And um, in terms of line out, obviously, he's a good jumper. He's a, he's normally a second row forward, but um, I think we we adjust um, and we've got the callers, we've got the jumpers to uh, to deal with that. Thank you. Here at the front row. Courtney, do you take it as a compliment that they sort of line up four jumpers uh, against you and Mario? And obviously Tom's going to have his part to play as well. Um, it's, it's, a, it's a strategy. You know, it's, it's their tactics. And that um, you could take it that way. Um, obviously, we're, we're just concentrating on what we need to do to win the ball and obviously to put enough pressure on them. Um, yeah. Courtney, what was your main memory at the end of that game? At Twickenham last November, when you were narrowly denied, um, especially that sort of episode with the Sam Underhill try and how it was sort of ruled out. Yeah, it was, it was, it was a tough test again. Um, obviously a close one, but I think we, we took great confidence from it. Um, confidence that we're certainly going to take into the game um, tomorrow. Neil, can I just ask, uh, obviously Eddie Jones has been uh, at this stage before in weeks like the semi-final weeks as a coaching staff. Do you take more of a lead than usual about building up to a game like this? Um, I think, you know, Mitch has got experience of it. Scott Wisemantle's got experience of it as well. So we're pretty well surrounded with, with the coaches and the experience that we've got in there. Um, we think it's a good balance. So, yeah, you know, Eddie's, I, I wouldn't say he's taken more or less of a lead. He's, he's been, like he has been for the last year and a half, he's been really consistent about how we approach weeks. Um, I, I think that the, the size of the game shouldn't really dictate him taking more of a lead or less of a lead. He's, he's done what he's done as we have done as a group. So, you know, we acknowledge it's a semi-final, um, but the process needs to remain constant. On the right, thanks. <coughs> Elliot, the way you've built up to this to this point through the whole summer and then the tournament, the two-week break before Australia and that great performance, is there just a sense that you're ready for anything the All Blacks can throw at you? Um, yeah, I think so. I think uh, the way we've been building over the last couple of weeks has been, well, through the whole tournament really, has been really good. I think the way we trained between test matches has been um, intense and, and good preparation for the test matches at the end of the week. and. Yeah, we're just all excited for, for, for what can come um, our way tomorrow. Thank you. Just next, and then we'll come to you next, Chris. Hi, Courtney. Um, Brodie Ritalik a few years ago, couldn't name a, an England player, called you Michael Laws. Um, are you guys confident they know who you are now and as a team and know what you're all about? <laughs> you know, if they don't, they will tomorrow. So uh, it's one of them things, mate. Just get on with it. Elliot, Ben was talking in the week about a little bit soft on the outside. He felt against Australia, accepting that Corey Abetti's got amazing wheels. Uh, do you feel that's an area you really have to sort of step up a bit more? Um, I think um, the, the speed of their breakdown last week caused a bit of problems, and then we got sort of on the edge. We were a little bit soft, as Ben said, but yeah, we've addressed that. Um, and, it, and it all comes down to working at, as a group. Uh, so it's not just the outside backs, it's the inside backs as well, putting pressure on. So, yeah, we worked hard on that this week. Um, but, yeah, the, I think the pace of the ball last week put us under pressure. In the white top. Yep, thanks. 
Hi, Elliot. There's always um, a bit of talk about New Zealand and the All Blacks trying to be ahead of the curve uh, and, and bringing new things to the game. Do you go into this kind of occasion expecting to see something new or just honing of what you've seen them do over the last couple of months or years? I think playing against the All Blacks before, I think you've just got to anticipate everything. Um, they've obviously got some quality players who uh, might think a little bit differently than other, other teams you played against. So just anticipating um, on the run and, and making sure you're always in the game. Further questions at the back row? Thanks. Yep. Uh, question for both Elliot and, and Courtney. Your favourite message from home, one that's, um, that's caught your eye maybe on text or email or whatever, just um, the kind of feeling you're getting from back home at the moment. Uh, I think we're just, we're getting so much support. Um, it's obviously, it's amazing. I think it's, you know, it's, it's not just for this game. I think throughout the last, Four years, however long we've had, we've had great support. We've got great fans, and the amount of people that's come out is a testament, testament to that. So, um, yeah, it's um, it's encouraging. It's good. Yeah, I think the the amount of social media presence at the moment just for the team has been amazing. And you see, only people have travelled out here. Um, I think that shows you how much they're behind us, and, and gives us that um, next step to hopefully go to the next level. Uh, Courtney, uh, a lot is often written and, and said about the, the All Blacks and their outside backs and Bowden Barrett and the, and the tries they score. But is their pack the, the kind of the, the gold standard for, for packs in international rugby as well? Are they the guys you kind of set your set yourselves against? Um, uh, yeah, they've got a great pack. Um, I think that they've got a lot of great players across the board. So have we. So um, I think you know you got two of the best packs in the world going against it, uh, going up against each other tomorrow, um, and it'll be a, it'll be a good t contest. Elliot, have you had a chance to practice any long-range kicks out there yet? And can you tell us a little about the extra time strategy for tomorrow? Um, yeah, I mean, I, I, I practice all the time. I haven't got one for a while. I haven't, I haven't had the chance to get one. But, yeah, I'm, I'm always willing to take one if uh, Owen thinks it's right and right time in the game. Um, but, yeah, just um, what was the other question, sorry? Uh, I mean, we haven't talked about that per se yet. We'll probably speak about it tonight um, just to make sure we're all set for that. But we're focusing on the 80 minutes first. OK, front row. Courtney Elliott, you've been together now for in camp for, what, more than 100 or so days. Do you feel like you're a really tight-knit group? You are a band of brothers who do anything out there for each other? Yeah, I think... Um, we talk about togetherness all the time, and um, I haven't felt this um, together as a, as a team for in any team I played in. I think uh, we've been together a while now, and um, we're just having fun on, on and off the pitch. And I, hopefully that that shows when we play games. Um, but yeah, it's it's definitely the most together we we've been. Yeah, I agree. Um, I think the best thing about it is uh, it's just natural. Um, I think a team, you know. You can't really predetermine how tight you're going to be, but I think we're lucky enough, lucky enough to get to have a group of great lads um, and you know to get on very well together. And it's it's making um, it's making it a lot easier to be away from home. Um. Elliot Courtney, ahead, yeah. when I spoke to Manu earlier in the week, he said they'd actually made himself step outside of the bubble of your squad just to make him realise the enormity a little bit of what's going on. Have, have you been able to do that? Have you consciously done that this week? Because this is a moment you just don't want any of it to pass you by, do you? Yeah, well, I think um, obviously everyone's different and how they go, go about um, for big games. But I think the, the good thing about last weekend is we, we built really nicely towards the game. Um, and individually, we got ourselves ready. It wasn't a team thing where... Oh, we, right. Let's let's go for this game now. We were all at the right um, point come game time. So if that's taking yourself away, or if that's doing something else, I think um, everyone in the team at the moment knows what they need to do to to get to that level because we we don't want to let anybody down. So we want to be uh, ready come what may at game time. Yeah, I'm, I'm probably a bit different to Manu. I like to just take every game um, like it like it is, which is a, which is a rugby game, and go out there and enjoy it. Um, obviously, it's a massive occasion. Um, and we we want to win, 
uh, we have to win. But um, you know, I, I, I like to go out there and you know treat treat every game like it's your last game. Okay, just time for a final question now. Just there. Just hold on one second. To Didi San. そうです。はい、ありがとうございます。yeah, I think um, we, we've obviously played together a lot now. Um, I think obviously changes from last game, but we 10, 12, 13 have played a lot together and um, obviously Fordy and Faz have played a lot of rugby together as well. So, um, yeah, I think they, they know each other better than anybody um, going into this test match and you know what to expect from them. So it's probably us communicating with them to make sure um, we get the best out of them. Yeah, what he said. <laughs> <laughs> okay, sorry for time. We have to call it quits there. Thank you very much, everybody. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs>